going on, guys? Symbiotes ISO 8s. Right? Simple. Um, there are plenty of different builds. The Symbiotes are a team that's they're very dynamic based on when you get them, how strong they are, and comparatively how strong they are. There are quite a bit of options for the team. This just happens to be the version I use. Let's take a quick look at it, and I'll go over some of the options you may have as you go on. So we start with Symbiote Spider-Man. Uh, disclaimer first, uh, healer is unnecessary on the Symbiote's team for the Symbiote's to work. That's the full team. You may find justification to put healer on a Symbiote, especially if you're using them as part of other teams. It's not a bad choice, but the Symbiotes do tend to keep themselves alive. It's kind of their big value is that they heal themselves. So unless your Symbiotes team is trying for content that's way out of its league and you just need that extra sustain, you don't need to put healer on anyone. That said, let's go in. So Symbiote Spider-Man, as far as ISO 8s are concerned, there's... A couple of decent options. I lead with Raider. The first reason and most reason is I put Raider on most characters that hit multiple targets, whether it's hit a target multiple times or hit uh, multiple characters one time. Symbiote Spider-Man does that to a T. Um, just taking a quick look at his kit. Web Slam attacks primary target and all other enemies. That gets benefit from crit. More damage potential, as well as procs for uh, vulnerable. Uh, spider Swingshot. Attack primary and adjacent targets by 300%, or for 300%. Again, that's hitting at least three, up to six characters, depending on if you're in like Dark Dimension or Raids. Um, that is a big chance to crit. Uh, while the crit doesn't necessarily affect bleed... It's, a, you know, it's 10% extra damage on the vulnerable proc, so reasonable. And then Spider Swinger, uh, he attacks at least two targets. The main target, and then whomever uh, he chains to. He might go back to the main target. He might go on. That's how Rebound Chain works. Doesn't matter. It's a guaranteed hitting at least two people. Um, possibly three people, but it's hitting at least three times for the most part. To me, it just makes sense. The crit uh, is big enough. Uh, his damage stat is good on its own, so Striker would also be fine on him, but he's not necessarily a character who gets a lot of benefit from attacking uh, uh, the same target again for a little bit less, especially on his team where there are some characters that truly get benefit from that. So, Skirmisher, uh, w good enough option, especially uh, if you're hitting a primary target that has something you want to get rid of. But again, the Symbiotes have two characters that do a pretty decent job of that. Not a high priority. Plus, uh, I just think that overall, he is one of the damage outputters on your team, making sure that he has the crit. Plus, the vulnerable uh, proc chances, very high. Moving to Carnage. Uh, Carnage has a lot of options, too. The one thing I will say, though, uh, Carnage doesn't need crit. So, off the top... Crit is not something you want to put on Carnage. Most of Carnage's damage is back-end loaded with the bleed stacks. Uh, even if you were to crit on any of Carnage's abilities, uh, they won't do significantly more. A crit isn't double damage. It's not even 1.5 damage unless you're really investing in Raider. A crit's only a 30% damage increase for the most part. And for him, uh, it's unlikely that that 30% damage increase is going to make a difference. Either it was going to absolutely obliterate the, uh, the person you were targeting, or not. So, I lead with Skirmisher. One of the main reasons I lead with Skirmisher is because Carnage is among the fastest on the team, both himself and through his passive. Uh, he is going to constantly be targeting people. He, uh, I want the ability to remove buffs uh, on everything Carnage does, from his basic to just be able to clear off a taunt when it comes up or maybe a death proof uh, as well as spreading the targets again since two of his attacks do tend to hit now cleave is situational sometimes it hits multiple targets sometimes it doesn't usually on the symbiotes it does raider makes sense but again i think you just get more value out of skirmisher on him i think raider is not great uh, slaughter does hit multiple targets but the multiple target attack is not the relevant one. It is the absolute nuke of the main target. Um, it's very unlikely that you're going to hit someone with this ability and need buffs to come off. But 
the way it works, you might be able to clear off that death proof in time for something else to kill him. Uh, this attack is also not used very often as Carnage. It's usually used as the absolute nuke to get someone down who has like a ton of buffs. Uh, not a high priority attack. Striker makes decent value out of it, but since none of his attacks, like Cleave, doesn't do anything, it doesn't chain on the assist, Striker uh, doesn't really need the extra attack. Uh, An Absolute Carnage, again, it does piercing damage as it is, so because piercing damage ignores like armor and it's pure damage, it makes the most sense to increase the overall damage that uh, would be done, so Striker is the better option than like Raider, but just being able to do this attack to somebody, put a bunch of bleed stacks on, and then either put a skirmisher tag on or remove a buff, like I said before, if you do this attack to somebody and remove a death proof, it's very likely those bleed stacks will probably kill them on the back end. So skirmisher makes the most sense. There's nothing here that makes too much of a difference for Carnage. Uh, he actually only has one line of text on his passive, so it's not going to increase too much. Um, for me, I just like the ability for Carnage, who is constantly going to hit with Cleave. Uh, I like to give Cleave the most value, and giving its ability to remove a buff or two, depending on how high up on Skirmisher, is big. Plus, I think that at the end of Skirmisher, at Skirmisher 5, that 50% resistance is a, a huge boost to the team. 50% uh, focus boost is a huge boost to him, making sure that all of these things actually stick. And if you ever notice, sometimes Slaughter fails to remove debuffs. It still is a focus check, which is kind of crazy to me. Uh... Absolutely. So uh, making sure that it does do the maximum amount of damage is relevant uh, across the board. Now for my Carnage, again, 7-6, very unlikely that things are going to cause too many problems, but it might in the future be so that uh, content comes out and it's more relevant. I like Skirmisher on Carnage. I understand that. Outside of the team, just a note, Healer on Carnage is phenomenal because he's very fast and has a pretty decent health pool, so those heals do matter. But uh, on his team, Skirmisher, Striker, and Raider uh, in that order are the options. Fortifier, don't even bother. He's got enough sustain. Uh, Venom. Venom is pretty much Striker exclusively because of his basic. Um, or specifically how good his basic is. Uh, your ISO 8 bonus attack fundamentally functions like his basic. Uh, in that it will like do what his basic does. So, on basic, uh, apply bleeds, flip two positive effects to negative effects, great. And then, now you get to add this ability, or similar ability, to every single one of his attacks, so you don't have to decide if the target is vulnerable. Do I want to get rid of that taunt, or do I want to, you know, hit him really hard, or spread the buffs? The answer is, por que no los dos, do both. Uh, other than that... Raider is reasonable uh, for the Corruption, but Corruption is a very long cooldown, so it's unlikely. Uh, and also, he doesn't have a crazy base damage stat, so increasing it a little bit is helpful, especially for his bleeds. Skirmisher, well, like I said, he already does the Skirmisher thing on his basics, so you don't necessarily need it um, in general. If you're targeting a vulnerable target, which is how Skirmisher would remove the buff, You'd rather do it anyway. It's kind of a no-brainer. I don't really want to go into any more on this. Uh, again, Fortifier useless. Healer useful because he's got a decent health pool. Not as good as Carnage. And again, team doesn't really need heals. Uh, Anti-Venom. Uh, I have him set to Skirmisher. I'm sorry, to Raider. I think Skirmisher is a fine option on him. I think uh, Raider is a fine option. I misspoke again. He's Striker. The main reason I like Striker on him uh, is just the uh, applying of bleed on the attack. Uh, this team does like the debuff, and even though it doesn't look like it, that application of bleed is still a 3% heal to everybody. He does a pretty decent chunk of damage, and mine isn't even very strong, so stronger ones clearly will do more damage. Um, I, I think you can make an argument for Skirmisher on him. I think that the main reason why is... Deadly Cure is a single target attack. You can also maybe take a buff off. Death Claw, you could take a buff off. Antiseptic, on the other hand, it doesn't really do anything to the opponents. Like, it's quite literally doesn't even target them, like maybe a Maw ability. So I don't think it's that high impact. 
um, for a skirmisher. Raider, I think goes without saying, you're not hitting too often, and when you are, uh, it's not very relevant. I think healer makes the most sense on him, uh, just to increase his health pool and make sure that he's taking extra turns and doing it. But again, I don't think it's that relevant in general on the symbiotes. So it's pretty much in Fortifier. I mean, no, <laughs> like he's he's fine, um, and he can sustain very well with his evades. So for me, it's kind of like Striker's the clear choice, and then every other choice is maybe situational based on where you are. But uh, even though Striker isn't even amazing on him, it's good enough compared to everything else. Uh, Scream is the exact same as Anti Venom. You can choose Striker. Um, or you could choose Skirmisher, everything else kind of falls out. So, Symbiote Swipes attacks primary target, applies bleed, and clears a positive effect. Uh, that's great, right? That's that's generally a really good ability. Um, chain to two additional targets for 200 damage, apply bleed, and clear one positive effect. Great. All these abilities are phenomenal. Uh, if you put Striker on her, uh, she's going to take that extra effect if you put skirmisher on her she's going to do the same thing so they are fundamentally the exact same so it comes down to which is more important to you the extra damage of the ability or the extra potential focus or clearing additional buffs uh, that's completely up to you since this ability does what venoms does but just a little differently you might want to make the choice uh, as for uh, this ability it is uh, a multi-target attack uh, I know inherently some people will say, well, Raider, because all the attacks hit multiple targets. Raider is also a great choice on Scream. A um, little bit of a downside is that the crits don't make too much of a difference. Uh, she has a pretty low, it goes to 25% crit chance, but all of her attacks do hit multiple targets, so Raider is a great option. Scream is, is truly one of the best all around uh, ISO 8 characters that you can put. You just kind of figure out what your team is missing. For me, Skirmisher made the most sense at the time, um, and I really just haven't wanted to go into Raider because I wanted the ability to single out targets that didn't currently have vulnerable and make sure that they got vulnerable. Uh, that was pretty much, I just wanted that one person who can do it. It could have been Anti-Venom, uh, it ended up being Scream because I could do that pretty much on every attack. It was very, very reasonable. Uh, Raider, great option. Striker, great option. There really is no right or wrong choice. So in the comment section, let me know what you have on Scream, as long as it's not Healer, because... No. Don't put Healer on Scream. As a matter of fact, even this... Not very... Or, yeah. Even this ability, not very relevant. 10% of her health. They're already healing whenever they hit. They don't really need to worry about that. So that's pretty much it for the symbiotes, or at least my symbiote team. And uh, these four characters, the first three characters are pretty obvious choices. Uh, Anti-Venom can go in multiple ways. And Scream literally can be anything but the two defensive ones. You should be okay with them. Uh, comment below and let me know if you're doing it. And if you're using all healer, let me know when you intend on changing to actual, like, abilities that make a difference because truly they shouldn't need that much healing uh if they have enough damage they're going to have enough healing through that anyway so not a big deal anyway have a good night have a great day i've been tony skinjili and i'll catch you later